Greetings. I'm Sister Sonia Wilson of the Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church, located at 4781 Hamilton Avenue. Our pastor is the Honorable Bishop James Chapman. Today, I will be presenting on behalf of the Christian Education Department. Our Sunday School Superintendent is Minister Kim Johnson. We will breathe a word of prayer. Dear God, we come in the name of Jesus and we thank you for this opportunity to hear the word of God. We pray that you open our hearts and our minds to be receivers of your blessed word. Keep us and let us carry it throughout the week. In Jesus' name, amen. God is good. And I love saying that because as Jesus said, none is good but the Father. And it's so true. Whether rain, sunshine, circumstances, situations, it doesn't change God's goodness. He's even good in this lesson. Guess what the lesson is? Esther goes before the king. I don't know if you ever heard of the story of Queen Esther. It's in the book. Of, it's in the Bible in the book called Esther. Yes. And I have a quick question for you. How many times is God mentioned in the book of Esther? But you have to read it to find out. I'm interested in knowing. Can you tell me? This story is about Esther going before the king. And it sounds simple, but it's not. It took a lot of courage. And, and we're dealing this summer with courage. We have uh, four major players in this story. We have Mordecai, Esther's older big cousin who raised her. We have Esther who went before the king. We have the king himself. And then we have Haman. Now here's the story. Esther was nervous about going before the king because if you went before the king without his permission, you could lose your life. Yes, she was the queen, but the king still had the power. And God has to give favor for you to do his will. So Esther is in this place of prominence now. Well, let's give a little backstory. How did she get here? Esther was, was raised by Mordecai, her big cousin, her older cousin. Esther's parents were deceased, meaning dead. So what happened is uh, a beauty contest arose for, for, from the king. His first wife, he no longer was married to her. So they were trying to get him a new wife. And Esther won out of all the women. And she was very, very beautiful. But Mordecai, her wise uh, cousin, told her, do not reveal your uh, nationality. So she never said she was a Jew. God has people in place who knows what to do. So you got wisdom working. And the thing about it is Mordecai really reverenced the Lord. You can tell, you can tell in the book of Esther, the way he kept the Jewish traditions is unto the Lord. But Mordecai made an enemy called Haman. And Haman had a problem with Mordecai because he felt like Mordecai did not respect him enough. So Haman had such an issue with Mordecai, he wanted to murder him and not only him, but all of the Jews. The Bible says annihilate. You know, that is just to wipe them out. Annihilate something or someone or some people. So this is what Haman wanted to do. And he just was so full of himself. He just knew that the king was all about him. And here's the king God uses. The Bible says the king of the heart is in the, the heart of the king is in the Lord's hand and he turns it whichever way he pleases. So the king, so Haman had came up with this idea that he was going to hang Mordecai. Yeah. And then he got the king to sign this thing into law to get rid of all the Jews to kill him. So they were kind of stuck now. So Haman sent word to Queen Esther to tell her to go before the queen, the king, excuse me. But Esther's fearful. You know, er Esther didn't want to lose her life and she had to, you know, go before the king. So she's basically like, I, I can't do this. She's telling her cousin, I can't do this, Mordecai. I love you, but I can't do this. However, he sends word back and he lets her know, you know, if, if you don't do it, God has somebody else that will. Victory may not come through you, but it's going to come through somebody else. But you and your family, you're going to perish. He's letting her know that if you don't do what you need to do, you're going to be affected. We'll still get our deliverance. And then he goes on to let her know, who knows if you were put, sent to the kingdom at such a time as this. Sometimes the reason your life is the way it is and what, the way it goes is because God is leading and taking you to a place that is greater and that will do more for more people. Think about it. Because of what God had did, he put her in a place where not just she could live nice, but that it affected all of the Jews so that they would not die. Look what God does. He did that with Joseph, didn't he? So now 
here she realizes I've got to do something, even though I'm fearful, even though I don't know what my future will hold. So now she recognizes unity is power. So she sends word, everybody fast and pray three days and I will do it also. And at that time, I'll go before the king. And she says these famous words, if I perish, let me perish. She was going to see the king. She was going not on behalf of her to get her own selfish needs, but on behalf of of the Jews so that they would not be annihilated or destroyed. Okay. So she had a greater purpose. There are times in your life when you have to go before people by yourself and you don't know what the outcome will be. But remember Queen Esther, get somebody to pray with you and pray for you too. It's okay. Ask the saints, say, pray with me. It's okay. Cause God will be with you and he'll give you a plan. Read the story. I'm not going to tell you, but you will love what God did for them. Well, I hope you have a great week and until next time, see ya.